So, third question. I'm going to do a whole video on this, on godless morality, just because the whole concept that it can't exist pisses me off. But I'm going to say two things, <clears throat> the short form. One is the fact that to speak an untruth knowingly is to with the exception of survival situations where like okay the person who's coming to kill you says where are you you know you don't answer or you in some way send them somewhere else but with the exception of things like that an untruth is this is an emotional and a pure belief thing in my part disrespect excuse me, disrespectful to reality as a whole. I can't put it any way other than that, other than to lie is to deny what is. I've said. The other thing is empathy. Okay, I can look at another person and maybe I don't know how they feel, but I can recognize they're another person, and that they probably have feelings, and I can watch and see what their general circumstances are and get a general idea that, you know, maybe since I can identify with them, since I can imagine this person, I can Imagine making the world a little bit better by making their life a little bit better. And in that, you get a good feeling, imagining this person feeling better. And the whole thing with truth, as long as you connect it to reality, then it's a justified, it's a justified feeling. And other than that, what's necessary? To give you several possible answers, but the ability of brains and senses in various creatures over time and the advantages of cooperation over, you know, for intelligent creatures over going it alone. I think are mutually reinforcing. I mean, occasionally, in the short term, you get a nut or you get critters who do very well alone. But usually the creatures that do very well alone spend a lot of time fighting each other, competing for resources and such. And we do that ourselves. I'm thinking cooperation is a better route. Just my belief. But I think the answer is because it works and because it works well. Okay, here's number five. Well, nature can generate a volcano in a geologically very short amount of time can generate lava flows, um, can, um, nature can create complex weather patterns like hurricanes out of apparent clear blue skies. It takes a little while. Um, nature can create snowflakes at a tremendous rate, and often does. And that's complexity apparently out of nothing to our senses. I mean, what is happening is water vapor is crystallizing molecule by molecule. But that's complexity coming out of nowhere. 
um, or out of extreme chaos. Ocean waves, water moving in circular patterns becomes these things that can wipe out cities. And those are all in very short time spans. So I'd be loath to underestimate what nature can do over geologic time spans. Yes. Nature can. And one more thing. To argue by analogy here. Your video reminded me of the contrast between cooking, where you make the food, and plating, where you put it out in a nice and pretty format and put it on the, you know, so you put it on the table and oh, it looks so nice. To speak by analogy, your plating is excellent, but your cooking sucks. Thank you very much for your time and attention.